first time Dunbar and Joe have been this close. There is a strong panel in between them. Not a fence. I feel a little safer for these two to be this close. I opened up another lot just here next to the lot where Big Jonah's ladies are. Open it up just to let them stretch out a little bit more. And the herd, the big herd can, call, can come all the way up here. And so, of course, here's Dunbar meeting Kit for the first time. No action yet from Big Joe and Dunbar, which that's a good thing. Doesn't surprise me, actually, during the breeding season could be just a little bit different. Tails up. Big Joe put the tail up. That's the sign. It's a little ticked off. Dunbar takes a step back. So I was just out here working. I opened up this other lot here for Big Joe and his um, two ladies just to get a little bit more room because they've been in this pen for a while now just for letting them figure out their new home dunbar of course he had to come up and then inspect and see what's going on so nothing big happening but I'm just gonna eat my ramen noodles on the go you gotta eat when you can and eat fast wow looky there you guys see that tail up Tail was up, and Kit was here. Dunbar made a came came over to smell a Kit, and look who stepped in. Big Joe. Look at him protecting her. He's like, "Go on now. Don't want any problems." Dunbar, he stepped down. So there you go, guys. Doesn't take much. Oh, here's some here's some sign here of aggression. Who's got this? Who owns this place? Oh, Dunbar. Gonna contest? Nah. Just gonna get a, maybe a drink of water instead. Probably smart, Dunbar. I'd leave him alone. What in the world is he doing? Dunbar. Not even getting close. He knows that that's Big Joe's lady. Staying away. As far as a young three and a half year old bull, that's the first time I've ever seen him kind of bow down. See, looky there. See that tail up? <laughs> and Dunbar's walking away. So right there, you can tell who is more dominant. You've got, uh, this bull is two and a half years older than Dunbar. Big Joe is five and a half years old. So is Kit and Flo. More mature, bigger, a little bit more intimidating. Absolutely for sure, Big Joe is. And then Dunbar here, he's still just a, 
he like a he's like a young twenty five year old hadn't quite hit his hadn't quite hit his full maturity yet right, right? still I think he's uh he's such a nice bull he's just curious he wants to smell and get to know Kit here Flo she's over here hanging out chilling I think he's just curious you know this is the first time he's been able to get close to him and uh, Kit wants to get to know him too and uh, Big Joe's just not happy about it. I mean, it doesn't take much. He starts stepping towards Dunbar and he walks away. Come on, buddy. You need to get out in the pasture with your family. Okay, take a deep breath now. Jeez. <laughs> He's still pretty pissed off. Uh-uh, not good. And you got, ugh. I wanted to share something else with you. Uh, the other day it snowed down here. It was probably a lot of you um, in the north. Anything north of Oklahoma got snow, basically. But um, anytime it snows, it is really cool to see the bison in the snow and their natural element. And they love that cold weather. But um, Kevin was out here taking care of the bison. He got some good video of the bison here in the snow. And they love it, so...
thank you guys for watching pretty cool big joe and dunbar meeting for the first time that's pretty fun to see glad there was no uh action going on there was some action there but nothing too physical i think big joe let him know that uh he's here even though dunbar's been here a long time dunbar you, do, you don't want to mess with big joe i promise you um big philly maybe nice but sure wouldn't want to mess with him but thank you guys for watching you can follow us on instagram you can follow us on facebook guys subscribe to us hit that notification bell and you can be a part of raising the american bison it's a journey it's a story um, we started with five and here we are with a, a bull like big joe the two ladies and we have 14 bison now and uh, pretty much a full little operation going here in southern oklahoma thank you guys